and I've put together a diagram for those who are interested in gold prospecting in the state of Maine or anywhere in northern New England. I'm going to walk you through some of the exact locales in this diagram. Here we see a geologic map of the state of Maine, um, parts of Quebec, New Hampshire, and eastern Vermont. The main feature associated with gold formation is the tectonic events. Now what this means is this is when the the plates in the oceanic floor thrust up against the continent creating huge rock formations thrusting vertically upwards with bubbles of mineral rich liquid that was squeezed from the rocks under incredible pressure and in this um, this liquid mineral soup, um, that's where gold's from. Gold is actually the liquid that was squeezed out of the rocks because of this incredible pressure from these taconic events. You can see in western Maine and parts of northern Maine up near uh, Baxter State Park, but especially um, north of the Eustis area into some of the western lakes regions of Maine into northern New Hampshire and down the White River Valley bordering Vermont, this band of taconic event um, geology. Now I've numbered these areas here. Number one on the map is showing the Eustis area, which is up near Sugarloaf Ski Area. And this very thin band you can see um, near the, to the east and west of the Eustis area um, goes roughly to Route 201. But that is where um, one would have good success with panning the rivers and streams. The most popular area of Maine for gold panning would be numbered two. And that is basically in the Byron Andover area where the Swift River and the east branch of the Swift River attract a lot of um, gold panners and even people dredging. I've actually found some flakes in that area. This is by far the most popular spot to uh, prospect for gold in the state of Maine. Anywhere in there from Grafton Notch on the border of Maine and New Hampshire right up through the Swift River um, in the Byron area is good for prospecting. Then north of that you see labeled number three. This would be a very remote area of this state um, near Lake Aziskohas and Umbagog. So if you've got a four-wheeler and you're comfortable uh, being self-reliant and, and really in a remote location, you may want to check out this area because I don't think many people have really prospected in this area, yet you can see that the geology um, is perfect for gold prospecting. The most accessible areas on this map would, of course, be the Byron area. Um, to a lesser extent, Graft Grafton Notch. Grafton Notch is very rugged terrain. The Appalachian Trail runs through there. Um, and then, of course, Eustis up near the Bigelows would be very accessible. That, that area in the Sugarloaf um, ski area. The Sugarloaf Resort um, is in that area. You can also see in Quebec, in eastern Quebec, there's a nice band of taconic geology running along the border of the state of Maine up near Jackman. Um, and this band would be responsible for the, the Booseville gold rush of the 19th century in Quebec. That is where that gold is located. You can see that very wide band um, to the northwest of the area that I've numbered on the main map. But for the more adventurous, you may want to head up near the Jackman area and cross the border into Quebec and check out the Booseville area um, and the river that runs through that area. So thanks a lot for watching. Please like, subscribe, and leave comments, especially if this map and uh, this instructional video has helped you locate some gold in the state of Maine or New Hampshire.